Good afternoon. Uh, recently, I've been reading a, uh, a work uh, called The Day of Battle. This is the second volume of a trilogy on World War II by Richard a a a Atkinson. And uh, <clears throat> he wrote something very interesting uh, on page 293 of the book. And I like to uh, read this. Uh, it discusses the death of a Christian, Christian soldier and his final words. Uh, the telegram announcing Henry Wasco's death would arrive at his Texas home on December 29th, delayed by the uh, War Department along with similar notifications until after Christmas. After Christmas, Henry's mother had been troubled by with premonitions, and when the family appeared, uh, when the family appeared to break uh, break the news, she blurted out, "I was right, wasn't I? Henry's gone." Pyle's con uh, column, that's uh, Ernie Pyle. Uh, he was a very famous a World War II correspondent, and uh, he himself would be killed in the Battle of Okinawa, 1945. Uh, Pyle's column would appear on January 10th, 1944, covering the entire front page of the Washington Daily News. Hollywood seized on the story, story and a year later released the story of G.I. Joe with Fergus Meredith as Pyle and Robert Mitchum as a Captain Bill Walker, who dies on a mountainside in Italy. So the uh, Ernie Pyle had made this, uh, uh, the his captain's uh, death so famous that they actually made a movie about it. But Wasco had the final word, uh, a, a last will and testament, mailed to his sister for safekeeping and made public more than 15 years after his passing. I would, I would like to have lived, he told his parents in a 10-paragraph ten, ten meditation. But since God has willed otherwise, do not grieve too much, dear ones. For life in the other world must be beautiful, and I have lived a life with that in mind all along. I was not afraid to die. You can be assured of that. Amen. Thank you.